What are top 10 highest paying PSUs through GATE and what is their selection procedure? What is the economic condition and what is the budget allocated to the particular department? How do you apply into these PSUs? Perks and benefits to work in PSUs With the growth of infrastructure, energy, telecom and manufacturing sectors, demand for job in PSUs is expected to remain stable. Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Geeks for Geeks, GATE, Computer Science and DA. In this video, we are going to see that what are top 10 highest paying PSUs through, through GATE and what is their selection procedure. So let's first discuss about uh, types of PSUs. So we have five types of PSUs. One is Maharatna PSUs and these are the largest PSUs and they have highest revenue uh, like ONGC, IOCL, NTPC, BHEL, etc. So these are my Maharatna PSUs. These are largest and they have highest in revenue. Similarly, then we have Navratan plus Navratan PSUs that are medium sized and they have strong profits. HPCL, Gale and Nalco etc. These are my Navratan PSUs. Then there comes Miniratna PSUs. They, they are smaller but profitable. Right. Which are RITES, EIL, Arcon. So these are my mini Ratna PSUs and then comes my BRAC and DRDO, right? These are research and development under government of India. These are these PSUs and then we have ISRO. Everybody knows that space agency under government of India. So these are PS, these are five types of PSUs we have and over 50 PSUs regularly conduct recruitment through GATE schools. So if you are preparing for GATE, then you should know about all of these PSUs, right? So these PSUs hire students through GATE exam. So let's see one by one these PSUs. But before that, uh, there are some factors which influence that uh, how many vacancies they will have in future in uh, PSUs. Right. So what are these features? First is government policy, policies and privatization trends. So what are the policies going on? According to that, they would uh, hire, they would post that how many vacancies they have in the particular PSU. What is the economic condition and what is the budget allocated to the particular department? So that is one of the reason. Technological advancement reducing workforce demand. So if they would advance in technology, then it would get reduced workforce demand. Increasing competition from private sector companies. So there might be a possibility if uh, private sector companies is going too much good in their sector, then uh, like PSUs would not be able to grow that much. But the government of India and various public sector undertakings continue hiring through GATE every year. But still, they would hire every year because after influencing after influenciation of these conditions. Right. With the growth of infrastructure, energy, telecom and manufacturing sectors, demand for job in PSUs is expected to remain stable. So we expect that that these jobs would remain stable in near future. So what are those PSUs? Let's come to that. So first PSU we have is ONGC. That is Maharatna public sector. And the salary structure of ONGC is 60,000 to 1 lakh 80,000. Right. And what is the selection process? Selection process is valid gate score, uh, group discussion and then there will be an interview. Age limit for unreserved is 26 and for reserved categories OBC it is 29 and for SCST it is 31. And uh, from which disciplines this ONGC PSU hires CS, mechanical, electrical, electronics. Right. Qualification like they demand that students should have 65 percent in BTEC. Okay, so that is about ONGC. Now next we have is IOCL again Maharatna public sector salary structure 50 lakh 50,000 to 1 lakh 60,000 discipline again CSE, CE, EE, mechanical right age limit 26. Selection criteria again gate score plus GD plus personal interview that is all about IOCL. Now, next we have is NTPC. For NTPC, the age limit is 27 year old and salary structure 40,000 to 1 lakh 40,000. Selection procedure, valid gate score plus personal interview. So it does not have any GD. It is valid score plus personal interview and qualification. They demand 60% in graduation. Discipline, mechanical, electrical, EC. Now, next we have is BARC. Bark mein 
uh, we have discipline C S M E C E E E I E, right? Instrumentation, selection process, gate score. If you have to get into directly in bark without gate score, then there is written exam for non-gate candidates, and then there would be an interview. So for gate score, if you have a valid gate score, then gate score plus interview, uh, and th they would shortlist you based on gate score. right so gate score plus interview if you do not have valid gate score if you do not get shortlisted with gate score then written for non gate candidates written there is a written exam so you can uh, give that exam as well pay scale 50000 approximately marks 60% aggregate marks in your btec ages 26 years right that is about bark now next is bhil bharat heavy electricals limited and age limit for unreserved and obc it is 27 years old discipline elect electrical and mechanical selection procedure gate score plus personal interview and pay scale is around 8 lpa qualification they want 60% right they want 60% now next we have is npcil nuclear power corporation of india limited discipline is ce e e e c and ce pay scale 56000 and there is one da part also 4% of pay in the pay matrix right you would get extra 4% as da age limit is 26 for unreserved and 29 for obc qualification 60% right selection criteria gate score plus personal interview so you have to have a valid gate score and you would get shortlisted based on gate score and then there would be a personal interview next is we have is ni e l i t right so discipline is cs ec e age limit under 30 years and the post which this psu hires that is for scientific assistance selection procedure there is only written test there is no interview no gd only written test pay scale is 35400 to 120400 now next we have is pgcil and discipline is electrical computer science and c right qualification is 60% pay scale around 50000 to 160000 in a in a month selection process valid gate scores gd plus pi all three things they would take now next one is ihmcl discipline is cs da electrical electronics and post is grade e1 engineer so they would hire for grade e1 engineer pay scale is uh, 40000 to 140000 per month right or 84000 per month on an average uh, age limit is 21 years to 30 years old selection procedure gate score plus personal interview so you should know all about these psus because then after gate exam you would be able to look into these psus like how do you apply into these psus what you have to do just go on their website and see if they have uh, uh, if they uh, have released vacancies and then you have to apply on their website right for each of the psu so you should remember all these psu you should note down all these psu so after giving gate exam if you have a valid gate score you can apply on all these psu and you have to check that for your uh, like they have vacancy or not they have released the application form or not for the uh for the uh, for hiring the candidates discipline is ce cs ee mechanical right pay scale is 50000 to 160000 age limit 30 years and qualification around 60% so each of the psus is asking for 60% or 65% approximately selection criteria gate score plus personal interview everyone has the gate score right so gate exam is important so i'll ask you again guys like i have said previously so many times that focus on your gate exam right because that would helps you to uh, like grab so many opportunities with the help of gate exam okay next we have is gale eligibility again 65% i told you it is approximately 60 65% year of passing candidate passing in 2023 or earlier are not eligible so that means they just want students like i think this date uh, this data is for of last year so that's why like 2025 year so they have just only hired the students for 2024 year at that particular year discipline again same discipline you can check selection process valid gate score gd plus personal interview 
right and what is a pay scale pay scale is 60000 to 180000 next is sale discipline is again cse mechanical electrical all these pay scale is 60000 to 180000 selection process gate score plus gd plus pi age limit 28 years old and qualification is 60 percent average so again 60 percent qualification is required and next we have is hpcl for hpcl for unreserved it is 25 years age limit discipline civil mechanical chemical pay scale 60,000 to 180,000 you can see that hpcl is hiring for chemical and civil as well pay scale 60,000 to 180,000 and selection process gate score plus gd plus pi qualification 60 percent aggregate in qualifying exam right now perks and benefits to work in psus what are what are those so you would have dns allowance like i told you that in one of the psus they have added extra four percent but in general it gets added in the salary which i told you the salary it is already gets added that's why i have taken a range house rent allowance so it is a basically a government job so you would have all those things performance based incentives medical benefits for family gratuity pf, PF pension benefit so you have all these benefits for, uh, in psus right so that's what we have for all the psus i hope you just remember all those psus and after you would give your gate exam you would be able to apply for uh, for these psus so what you have to do you just have to go on their website and just check that if they have released the notification or not but otherwise we also uh, let you updated on this channel so you can subscribe us as well thank you thank you for joining